So SmartView is an Excel based uh, utility. So you need to install a software or add-in in your local desktop. And you can analyze your GL balances in Excel sheet. That Excel sheet will be connected to SBase cube directly. And whatever data uh, you are fetching, it will be real time. As I said, like when you post a journal, it goes into SBase as well as in transactional database. So in SmartView also, you will get real time information. And something is posted uh, just now in Excel. You just click on refresh and it will show the latest balances. Okay. And you can use all Excel features like pivoting, chart, graphs, everything, summation, everything can be used. So what are different features of this? So uh, ad hoc multidimensional pivot analysis combined with full Excel functionality. So I just explained and it is based on multidimensional database that is SBase cube, uh, which I explained yesterday. You can drag and drop dimensions to row and column or page. So uh, as per your requirement, you can drag and drop the dimensions as per uh, like the kind of analysis you want to develop. You can drag and drop the dimensions, select the values, and uh, you can uh, generate analysis quickly. Perform multidimensional analysis, pivoting, and drill down. So the best part of this uh, tool is uh, if you, you are not clear with some amount or you want to analyze that amount further, you can right click and go to drill down, and it will take you to the uh, detailed balance inquiry page, and from there, you can reach to subledger transaction also. So you, from Excel sheet, when you are analyzing, say your uh, sales is going down, and you want to analyze which particular department is causing this issue, or where, uh, like any kind of an further analysis you want to see, or your expenses are going up, which particular invoice is causing that. So you can reach out to that invoice from uh, your smart view analysis in Excel. And one more thing. Uh, like many customers are going for coexistence model. When we when I say coexistence, so they are they have implemented EBS uh, e business suite R12, and they have uh, all the subledgers as well as GL in EBS R12. AP, AR, GL, cash management, fixed assets, all those modules are in EBS. But they want to take advantage of this reporting uh, cap reporting capabilities of Fusion. So they can implement the fusion in coexistence. So GL balances and Oracle supports that coexistence. So they have created some web services and processes in R12. You apply that patch and then you can connect your EBS with fusion. So GL balances will move from EBS to fusion uh, based on the frequency you decide. That process has to be run. So and you are analyzing something in fusion and you find you want to know more details about that uh, balance you right click it will take you to fusion screen and from fusion screen you can reach out to ebs transaction also so it connects automatically to your ebs screen so it is very it is a very powerful tool especially for ebs customers they are able to take advantage of latest uh, like uh, this cloud product without changing their business processes because those existing business processes those will continue in EBS those are not changing but uh, reporting they can take, uh, take advantage of all these reporting tools and if they want to analyze they can reach out to EB uh, transaction in EBS uh, that other ERP product which is on premise so drill down is a very powerful feature. Uh, I don't think uh, like a drill down is possible from Hyperion to any transactional screen. But as this uh, space is integrated within Fusion, it is. It is. It is. No, but tra to transactional screen, say you are connecting yes. a Hyperion with EBS. So can you reach out can to Hyperion directly? Okay. Okay. Through integrator FDMWE, we can directly go to the form level transactions. Okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, you may have to do some setups and uh, like some uh, yes. effort might be required. I don't know about that. 
but here it is seamless you don't have to do anything in fact uh, entire setup moves from EVS to fusion automatically and that link will be established and you can save these uh, uh, Excel analysis this smart view analysis on your desktop and uh, you can do offline analysis and say next day or next month you want to use that reuse that Excel you just open it connect to the uh, space it will prompt you for your user ID and password and you can uh, connect to space refresh the balances immediately okay so uh, some of the features like uh, slicing and dicing so you can uh, uh, get a different view of data in Excel sheet you want uh, some kind of analysis like for this department for this period compared to last period for this company what was the balance so all those kind of what if scenarios you can develop in smart view so slicing and dicing you want to like you are in a parent level uh, account you want to go to child level account or grandchild level account you can do that in an Excel sheet then pivoting so you can take advantage of pivoting functionality expansion and it can take you to that detailed journal screen and from there uh, you can reach out to subledger transaction okay so how to install this smart view so either you download it from uh, oracle website or you go to instance and from workspace you can download so let me show uh, this location So go to this uh, financial reporting center and there you have this open workspace for financial reports. So click on this tools install uh, there is some bug or something so it is not showing but uh, it is smart view installation here so you can install a uh, smart view from this link or you can directly download it from oracle's website also so it, from this screenshot it is clear that it looks like this so once you go to tool install it shows that smart view you click on this and it will download the executable and you can install and once it is installed uh, you will see that in Excel sheet so uh, let me show that it shows a add-in here smart view okay so after installation you will be able to see this sometimes uh, it is uh, like uh, because of some uh, security policies uh, or uh, some setups uh, you may not be able to see so you may need to activate it so it might be under add-ins it might be under deactivated uh, items disabled items so you may have to enable it okay so let's uh, so after installing the smart view first step is to provide the URL to connect to so go to options advanced and here you need to enter the URL so by default you will have server colon port slash workspace slash smart view providers so how to get that those server details so when you go to this uh, uh, workspace where, from where you will download take that URL uh, before workspace take everything and paste it there so before workspace you paste it here so this is how you will get the URL for smart view okay once that is done go to panel shared connections 
it will ask for your fusion credentials select that first one uh, s base select the cube uh, which uh, uh, which got created this will be the uh, your chart of account instance name so this is the chart of account instance name double click on that db that is database s base database ad hoc analysis okay so by default it will open this screen this is the point of view window where you will have all the dimensions uh, dimensions are like uh, your chart of account segments ledger balance type balance amount scenario currency currency type all those will be there and by default you will have account period accounting period in row dimension and ledger in column dimension okay so this is the default uh, screen now say for example you want account code in row and accounting period in column so how to do that at any point in time you must have one dimension in row and one dimension in column if you try to drag and drop here that accounting period system will not allow unless and until you put some other dimension here before moving that accounting period back to pov so first we want account to be uh, in row dimension so take this account when this mouse pointer is like this uh, press your left mouse button left mouse button keep it pressed and drop on top of accounting period okay then press accounting period that uh, select that cell press right mouse button and keep it pressed and drop on top of your POV window. So when you are moving something from POV to uh, Excel, you will press left mouse button, right to left. And when you want to move something from left to right, left to right, you will press right mouse button. Okay. Say I want accounting period here. So let me take this accounting period left mouse button drop on top of ledger okay now i have two dimensions i don't need two dimensions here for my analysis press right mouse button and drop here okay so this drag and you can drag and drop all the dimensions you want in your row and in column now select the dimension values so all chart of account values here those are optional you can uh, like uh, accept whatever is there by default but uh, you need to select values for other thing other uh, dimensions so scenarios say a scenario is like you have actual or budget uh, uh, some different scenarios will be there so uh, select actual and if you have budget also created and you want to, uh, to compare with budget or you want to see the budget you can select that that scenario has to be created by your implementation team you don't have to go back to that POV window to select another column from this drop down also you can select select the ledger move to right side move that ledger back balance amount so you want beginning balance or period activity or ending balance or you want further detail beginning debit balance beginning credit balance similarly period activity debit credit ending balance debit credit so what you want to uh, see so say for example I want period activity okay amount type take it as base currency so select the currency so in our case it is SAR
and in currency type take total why what is this currency type expanded currency type is, uh, currency type when you have foreign currency transaction so you will be having say your entered transaction in usd and uh, your uh, your functional currency is say uh, sar so total will be your functional currency entered means in which currency it, that transaction is entered okay expanded converted converted when you have that reporting currency so you can use that converted also hey, could you please expand it what is there under those converted numbers again uh, from which okay. currency you are converting okay 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 click on refresh still it is not showing the data because accounting period is not selected so what you can do is you can click on member selection and select the period say i want data for january february march so again here you have this hierarchy you have this accounting period on top of that you have quarter and on top of that you have financial year so take it to right refresh it is showing zero any idea why it is showing zero no account select no no that is not the case the, because it is showing zero it's not showing missing or error earlier before selecting the accounting period it was showing missing but now it is showing zero so as you know we are into double entry system so when you debit one account you will be crediting another account so the total will be zero total of debit and credit like uh, debit minus credit is your final balance so your final balance will be zero at all account level one account debited another account got credited correct so at total account level it will always be zero uh, if you want to expand either you select go to this member selection and select the values you want these are all child values or if you want to select something from hierarchy you can select the hierarchy also <coughs> 